guys, how's it going? Um, good morning. It, oh, sorry. You know, I always have a bunch of stuff on the counter here. And I just took out my, I just finished my, um, I still don't know why every time I say it, I want to say Les Mills, but it's Les Mills apparently. Do you ever feel that way when you're finished working out that like your teeth just feel funny? Anyway, I also, I always, this is kind of like my routine in the morning lately. I get up, I've, I've started to just put so many great new um, procedures in place to get me on my game. And yes, by the way, I was up at 6.30 this morning. So um, this is the whole week of January 14th. The only reason I'm saying the date is I'm still a little bit behind on catching up my blog. I'll get to that in a second. Um, but um, all this week I've been getting to bed by 10.30 and getting up at 6.30. Yes, give me a fist pump. Give me like a double fist pump. I also hurt my finger last night. I think I was punching something. Because I'm badass like that. Mr. Flow. Mr. Flow. Oh! Although, hitting the gym tonight. Um, because I was sick yesterday. I'm going to, I'm sorry. See the steam coming off of that? A lot of you guys have been asking about the recipe. I love it, but it has been doing some weird stuff lately. Not weird. Just looking funny. It looks different every time it comes out. I'm sorry, I had to take a bite of something. As you can see, there's some sweat going on. Anyway. Um, so, my coffee's brewing in the background. See, I'm talking to you guys, haven't even had coffee yet. What does that tell you? And I'm still as peppy as ever. But what I've been doing at night is I put my, um, my stuff in the coffee machine so that when I'm in the last, if I'm at home, well, actually, yeah, if I'm at home, I just come in here at the end of my workout, usually doing, well, really, I mean, unless I'm having, unless there's like a snow day or something, I guess the only thing I'm doing it, whatever, is cardio. Anyway, so if you look back there, why am I saying if you look back there? I uh, have my coffee already and all I have to do is press the button, which is nice. All the little things that make your life easy the next day. Set yourself up for success. I set out my vitamins the day before, so when I get up, I get up in the morning and um, when I'm doing my, um, when I'm doing my workouts, I've got my Genetics HD ready, because Genetics HD is before uh, before the workout. I do Genetics HD before cardio. I tend to do that, and then I'm doing um, the Super Pump, or whatever it's called now, before uh, weights. And pretty much everything else is the same. Um, that's all. It's just the way I'm mixing it up. Although, I am going to make sure, I talked to Mike to make sure that um, everything is okay. The only thing that I've added, really, is um, that uh, super pump, but I wanted to make sure because, oh, that's what it was. I wanted to go back to adding, there's three components to the Genetics HD system, and now that I'm so hardcore and consistent, thank you to Permanent Change, um, I wanted to see if I could add back in. As you guys know, I've been taking two packets of the, the Physio Burn, and then I've been taking the Pro Sculpt, which is the drink, but I haven't been taking that third component of Genetics HD, which is the, um, uh, what's the name of the pills? The pills. Because this was probably even la towards the end of last summer. I would take the pills according to the directions, like right before a run, and then I'd be running like, I just felt like they weren't digesting or something. So I stopped taking them. But I'm going to ask Mike about adding those. And I, you know, be careful, you guys, when you're taking some of this stuff. Some of it can have, um, you know, extra caffeine for a boost. So if you take that plus something else, then you're going to be like jacked all day. So just be careful. And luckily, I am lucky to have Dr. Mike as my spirit guide so I can ask him anything. And then he's like, Kelly, can you calm down? He's usually saying that no matter what I ask. Because I have issues. Anyway, a couple of things to catch you up on. I'm so sorry. Yesterday, um, I'm trying to think of what it was. Monday, I had meetings, and then I came home and it started to feel like crap. And it was almost like I just feel, I, I don't tend to get sick, but I, I get the beginnings of feeling sick. And, and usually 
it's more like I'm just exhausted and need to take a break. And I feel like that's my body just telling me, you need to chill the hell out, Kelly. So Monday I really felt like crap, Monday night. And um, yeah, today's Wednesday. So yesterday I honestly took like a bona fide sick day. It was just me and I forced myself. I'm like, don't do what you normally do. Because normally what I would do is if I'm feeling sick, I'd you know, say, okay, I'm not gonna work. And then I'd sit there and go, I really should run to Walmart because I have to get this, I have to get this, let's dress and things off. And the thing is, that's why I get run down too, is that there's just, there's never ever a day that I'm, I don't get out of bed and just hit the ground running. And, and, and there's just never a moment of not going from here to here to here to here to here to here. And then, then I've gotta do this, then I've gotta do my work, then I've gotta come home, then I've got a Twitter chat, then I've got this. It's been this way for two years for me. And that's why I get so tired. Some of you guys might go, why? What are you so, you know, you work from home, why, why would that be so exhausting? Okay. That's the way it is. And especially, I don't want to say especially, but the past two weeks with just setting up my damn office with all this technology and transferring my blog, um, my blog has always been on Squarespace, which is my favorite blog platform. Um, well, I find out, what was it? I was updating something on it earlier this week with my new computer. And I realized that Squarespace, I was on version five, I'm so sorry. I just had to eat something. I was on Squarespace version 5 for my blog, and I went to add something, and they're like, oh, you have to be on version 6 for that. And I'm like, wait a minute. Okay, I am a little bit of a technology diva snob, so if there's a latest version of anything, I have to have it. So, couldn't, it wasn't, it just wasn't an easy upgrade. It was actually a different system. So, yeah, I have to admit that here I was on my sick day. I was supposed to be sick and not working. And I did get yelled at for that. Um, but I was trying to move my blog platform over to this platform six. You guys, I'm one of those people, this probably won't surprise you. I, if, if I start something, like I have to finish it. And if, I, if it breaks or doesn't work along the way, then that makes me pissed off even more. And then I become obsessed with it. So I started to upgrade my blog to number six. Well, once I know that version six is there, I have to have it. And then I'm, I started transferring things over, and then it was transferring my blog content over, but it wasn't transferring the pictures. So then I'm, you know, writing to tech support, and then I'm sitting by the, literally like, sitting, I email tech support, and I'm sitting there going, why haven't you emailed me back? Why haven't you emailed me back? Why haven't I heard from you? Why? Why? Like, and who's calling me right now? Where's my phone? They're going to have to wait. Because um, whoever's calling me doesn't have an appointment. And nobody should call me in the morning. It really annoys me when people call me. I bet you I know who it is. You don't have an appointment, and you always call me when you don't have an appointment. If it's my mom, I'm going to feel really bad. Um, but anyway, so yesterday I spent hours, hours, getting my blog platform switched over to version 6, then working with the guys from Tech Support to import all of my content, then going through the painstaking process of, you know, bit by bit by bit, establishing what fonts I want, what colors I want. Let me tell you how long that takes. And Google Chrome was doing something stupid. They kept rebooting and not saving my work. So anyway, that took up a better part of my day yesterday. The other thing I tried to do yesterday, which of course this is probably telling you why, <laughs> this is why, I don't ever really relax, and this is why my friends and family and close loved ones yell at me because they'll text me and go, are you in bed? Are you working on your laptop? Are you working? Because I do this, I'm sitting here telling you I had a sick day yesterday, and yet all day I was freaking importing my blog, and I was trying to set up in my office that new Jabra 6470 headset that I got. So I got an all wireless headset because as often as I'm on the phone in my home office, the first part of when I founded my company, I was not on the phone as much. It was all email. Well, now everybody wants to have a phone conversation. And so holding an actual phone, can't use my cell phone in here, people. I need a landline because I will tell you this. People that know me know that when I talk and I'm in the kitchen, they'll be like, hello. And all of a sudden it's like, not static. You just can't hear anybody. I need a real phone. So I got this really badass Jabra system that's supposed to be able to 
wirelessly pick up your phone, pick up your landline, and pick up Skype. So it's like you can put the headset on around here, you can put the headset on wireless. It's pretty badass. Start to set it up, and then it gets to this little thing where if I took you in my office right now, which I'm not doing because it's messy, but I will take you guys in there because a lot of you have been asking about my vision board and all of that, I will, when my office is neat. But start to set it up, and I get maybe 33% through the setup. And the damn thing keeps going, headset's disconnected, please reconnect. Headset's disconnected, please reconnect. All day. All day. And there's no reason, I haven't changed anything. It's, I mean, it's just absolutely ridiculous. It's kind of like if you have something like this, and you know that you always press the red button to record. And then all of a sudden you're pressing the red button, and it's like, press the green button, press the green button, press the green button, press the green button. God, it's so annoying. As you can tell, I'm still a little wound up from yesterday. Really pissed off because now here's, it's gonna bleed into today. Still don't have my new phone set up because now I have to call Jabra Technical Support and be on the phone. I don't know if I told you this, but see, now I'm just gonna get bitchy. When I first got my new, brand new Dell XPS All-in-One 27, blah, blah, blah. So excited. Two days, two days after I have it set up, I simply do the Windows updates that it tells me to do, okay? I'm also not a dumbass when it comes to technology, people. I can set up and fix just about anything. But I'm also not one of those arrogant jerks that gets on the phone with the IT people and is like, oh yeah, <laughs> let me tell you how to do your job. There's dumbasses, there's intermediate, and then there's IT people. I'm an intermediate, okay? I'm not a dumbass, I'm an intermediate. I'm not the IT person who, it was actually very cool because I ended up having to call Dell because after um, I get my brand new XPS 27 all-in-one badass computer and I set it up, do Windows update, I wake up the next morning and it's shining at me and it says, press this button. And I'm like, okay, touch screen, very badass. And I'm pressing the button and it's like, uh, please do these advanced setups, you know, please fix the errors. And I'm like, um, I haven't done anything. And let's just suffice it to say that every option it gave me was not even letting me start the computer. So it was like flat busted. Looking pretty, looking nice and blue and pretty with nice little icons that are telling me like, you're screwed. <laughs> so, had to call technical support. And then I know that I'm not gonna be able to work, I'm gonna be on the phone. This happens every time we, anybody that I know, does a massive technology overhaul. This is why it's nice when you work for someone else because you just leave your office for the day and go to meetings and you come back and you have the IT guy who's doing all the stuff for you and he's been doing it all day and he does it all day. I don't have that. IT is me. I'm in a startup. So I'm sitting there and I'm like, Ugh. but there were a lot of other swear words that were coming out. God is putting me in a major, like I'm on the bench because I've been swearing so much. So call the, the, the IT people. I have to tell you, they were super nice and the thing that I think is so cool is you get on the phone with this guy and here I am looking at my la my computer going no idea what's going on here there's nothing I can press that will even let me in to figure it out and he's like okay let's do this and then you know he like he's not even here I think it's so cool that he's like and he's very calm he's like and I'm thinking how cool is it that I can just tell you whatever it is that's wrong over here and you're going to fix it and then Literally, within three minutes, he fixed it. Totally nice. It was something simple. And I'm like, dude, is this going to happen, like, all the time? Because now I'm scared to do an update. And so I basically was like, you and I need to be BFFs because if this happens again, I need someone to call right away. So that said. And then they called me, like, three times to follow up and make sure I'm okay. So it was very nice. Um, shit happens, people. Get over it. Um, of course, I never really get over it. I just come on my blog and bitch about it. Oh, that was two swear words in less than one minute. Sorry about that. Um, so, my computer, set up the new computer, realized that the external hard drive from the last computer isn't recognized by anything past Windows. What did I have? My old PC was Windows XP. My laptop that I got about a year ago, year and a half ago is, I don't even know. And then I have Windows 8 on my new thing. And so, as we've upgraded, all of that old stuff isn't recognized. And apparently, this external hard drive that I have, if you Google it, everybody and their brother's having the same problem. It just all of a sudden, oh, I'm not going to be recognized by anybody. And all this stuff you have on here, screw you! So, 
I've had to give up finding a lot of the stuff for my old computer. New computer took about four or five days to try and retrieve the old data, forward it over. Still pissed off. Oh, here's two other things that have happened. Bought a brand new iPod because my last iPod was uh, had just died. It's like four after four years, everything's like screw you. I know you got a bonus, Kelly, and you're gonna buy all new stuff. Anyway, my iPod died, so I went and I bought, and I like the iPod Classic. I go to Target, I buy the iPod Classic, I come home, I sync it with my new computer. First thing that pisses me off. Why is it that when you have one iPod and you have a new computer and you sync it with iTunes, that all of a sudden all of my playlists aren't there? And they're like, we can't find your music. All of the things that I took, I took all of my CDs. I used to have three or four drawers of CDs. And I'm like, let's upgrade to, you know, technology. Let's use, get all these CDs, pick the songs that I want. I took days and days, this is a while ago. Took all my CDs, downloaded it into iTunes, and now all of those CDs that I downloaded and gave away because they're on my iPod, now my iPod is like, oh, we can't find those files. And so I can't listen to it. And furthermore, you can tell that I'm just in a really bad mood. And furthermore, my uh, playlists aren't there. So when I go to play my playlist, it has like four songs on it because it can't find it. So if somebody can tell me how to fix this, you'll make me a lot less like what's going on here today. But I've also, maybe I'll feel better after I have some coffee. <sighs> have I even talked about anything fitness? I don't think so. Well, zucchini protein bread. So, iPod, nothing's transferring. Oh, and then by the way, brand new iPod's not working. So every time I go to press play, it's just not responding to my finger. I don't like things that don't respond to my touch, okay? So it's not even two weeks old and it's not working. So now let's add that to my to-do list that I have to do. I've got to go to the dry cleaner. I have to go to Walmart. I have to go to Target and return something that I just bought with the insurance plan and it's already not working. Brand new computer I've had to be on um, technology support. Brand new phone system I've had to be on technology support with it. What else? Um, my polar works fine. Now I've burned an extra 70 <laughs> 75 calories just while I'm bitching at you guys. Well, I'm not bitching at you. I'm bitching in your world. So you have the joy of being on the treadmill watching me bitch. Um, what else? So my iPod, my um, whatever. You know, here's the good thing. All of my new fitness stuff is fantastic. So um, as you know, I've only been doing the first two videos of Les Mills, so I haven't even gotten into all of this stuff. All of this. Whoa, take got it. Ah! just a little bit off center today. But I was going to come in here. <laughs> I was going to come in here and tell you how I started to be in a bad mood and I was in a better mood, but now I'm kind of illustrating that I've been in a bad mood. So, but I'm over it. I'm just going to go out on the exorcist and pound out some aggression. Um, let's see. So that's everything that I think has gone wrong. I don't think anything else has gone wrong that I know of. I talked about my computer. So I'll let to say, getting the blog transferred over, getting my new computer set up, I'm gonna have to get on the phone with technical support for my damn phone system. Um, my new iPod is, is, is still not working. Maybe I have some kind of chemical imbalance in here that's like sending out bad vibes to the universe and I'm just getting, <sighs> I'm gonna be calm. Someone just came up with like a crumb. Um, so anyway, I'm going to be, it, it'll be fine. Whenever you get really, really upset about life and pissed off, you just stop and think about like, okay, if these are the worst of my problems, I've got it pretty good. So I need to like slap myself and say, Kelly, stop being a whiny, douchey, ungrateful little douchebag. Double word usage there, sorry. See, I have people that actually text me and say, great job, stay focused. Eyes forward, heads up. That's right. Ah! Um, I'm sure that my neighbors are like, 
who has moved in here? I have to go. We're at 20 minutes. Um, but all that to say, was sick yesterday, should finally have all of this stuff together. So new computer, I don't have a new camera, new blog, a new system set up. But I will tell you, so I've made great progress this week from last week because I told you guys, I wanted to start getting to bed earlier. I've been, a, and when you tell somebody else, when you tell somebody else and put it out there that you're gonna do something and you tell them to make you accountable, it adds another level up. So I said I wanted to get to bed by 10.30 and be up at 6.30. And especially when you have someone in your life that's gonna go, you're not gonna get up at 6.30. There is no way you're getting up at 6.30. Or they're like, yeah, right. It's that whole like, you know, what I told you guys before, if you hate it, put a name on it. Make somebody really annoy you and piss you off and tell you that you can't do it. If you're like me, that will incent you to go further and to do even better. So I was like, oh, you think I can't get up at 6.30? Watch this. Now, I don't like getting up when it's dark o'clock out at night. You know, when I wake up and I'm like, is it midnight or is it 6.30 in the morning? It's dark. I don't care for it. I'd rather go back to bed and wake naturally like an hour later but I'm doing it. So all I can tell you is put your goals out there, add new goals each week, get better, and don't get hung up when your technology life falls apart around you because it will get better. Okay, now enjoy this lovely rant and have a good day. I'm going to go jump out in the snow and cool off.